All right. Uh, good morning, friends. Uh, let me welcome all of you once again to the sixth day of our business and life coaching program. Today we are going to cover a very important aspect for any business or for any entrepreneur or any startup, for that matter, anybody. What we are going to cover today is cost and costing. In my experience, generally, generally it is seen an entrepreneur or a businessman is quite focused on the production, on the marketing, on the finance, on the procurement, but they tend to ignore the cost and costing, and which, let me tell you, is very dangerous. Because if you do not have a handle on your cost or your costing, then you might run into many difficulties which can't be undone, which cannot be, you know, you cannot reverse the effect of those mistakes. So why it is important for a businessman or for an entrepreneur to have a good understanding of costing, cost and costing. See, first of all, for realizing purpose of the business, and that is value creation, you need to have a good understanding of cost and costing. Number two, for having, for ensuring that the lifeline of, of the business flows continuously in your business, you need to have a good understanding of cost and costing. Thirdly, you need to have a good understanding of cost and costing because please remember for a business to create value, mm -hmm. pricing has to be correct. And for pricing to be correct, the costing has to be correct. And please also remember for costing to be correct, understanding of the cost and cost accounting also has to be correct. So in case if you make a mistake in costing, remember you will by default make a mistake in pricing as well. And if you make a mistake pricing in as well, you are not going to fulfill your objective of value creation. And let me also warn you here, in case if you make a mistake in costing, please understand you don't make one mistake in costing, you always mistake two mistakes in costing whenever you do. So in case if you are under costing a product, by default you are over costing another product. Why? Because the cost that should have been loaded to product A, it is not being loaded to product A and that means by default it is getting loaded onto product B. So that means what? That means you are under costing product A and you are over costing product B. And please understand, both are suicidal. And why both are suicidal? Because if you are under costing a product A, there is a full possibility that you will underprice it. And remember, if you underprice a price a product, the product is going to be sold like a hot cake. So this is your product. Hai, this product will sell like a hot cake. But remember, every time you sell a unit, you're going to make a loss. Yes or no? Is that it? Right? And likewise, if you're overcosting a product, then chances are you will overprice it. Mm. And remember, if you overprice it, a product, your product may be very good. But if the product is overpriced, remember, nobody is going to buy that product and you will end up in a situation where you will have to carry a lot of inventory, finally write off that inventory and suffer a loss. And this, therefore, it is very important for a businessman or for an entrepreneur or for anybody else for that matter to be very good in cost and costing. Another reason as to why do we need to be good in costing and cost accounting is to understand the difference between the cost and the price. And you know what is the difference between the cost and the price and please pay attention. The difference of course is very simple. Cost is a reality and price is a policy. Hmm. Cost is a reality, price is a policy. Meaning what? Meaning cost is what it is. Cost is a fact. If a product is costing you in manufacturing 100 rupees, that means the cost of that product is 100 rupees, period. You might make a mistake in doing a correct accounting of the product and therefore you might say, you might feel that the cost is 90 rupees. Remember, the cost is not 90 rupees, the cost is 100 rupees. You have made a mistake in costing of that product and you are thinking that the cost of that product is 90 rupees. But the fact is that the cost of that product is 100 rupees. And therefore, please remember, 
cost is a reality price is a policy so what is the meaning of price is a policy that means what that means it is possible that you may sell a product at a very high price mm -hmm. and make a huge profit mm -hmm. at the same time sometimes as a policy you can decide to charge a low premium sometimes even you can decide to sell your product at